he disappears in his study, and I don't hear from him for hours. He says he's working, but the only thing I hear coming out of that room is the boring classical music he listens to. Well, I'll see. But even if he does go out, you know how he clams up when he gets in front of a crowd? It embarrasses me to tears. <sighs> Sometimes I feel so bottled up, I could scream. If it weren't for people like you and Don, I'd go out of my mind. It didn't rain after all. Oh, how observant of you, dear. Paul just came in. He said it didn't rain after all. Who's that? Beth. Big surprise. How many times have I told you to hang up your coat? 7,681 times. <laughs> She's having a little get together this evening. Good for her. She wants us to come over. Her cards and small talk? Tell her I'm grading papers. I'll call you back later, after dinner. Bye now. There's never anything in this lousy paper anyway. Good evening. Welcome to our theater. If you're wondering who I am, I'm the author of this play. I will serve as your host this evening. I'm still revising, so your reactions tonight will really help. <laughs> <laughs> With that said, Let's get on to the business of the evening, my new play. What I've just shown you is an example of stage realism in all its pedestrian glory. <laughs> the usual expository phone call and obvious doling out of information, a suggestion of a conflict to come. Very boring, isn't it? <laughs> and the subject matter, quite mundane. Don't worry, I'll change that in a few moments. Sorry, I'm late. Parking was a bear. I want to remedy that situation. Uh, <laughs> first, I'll spare you the verbal dunning book that followed. I'm lucky the uh, fellow out there can let me in. <laughs> Nobody admitted after this show starts. Come on. Well, you agree to be quiet. <laughs> I'll also spare you the ominous silence and of a very tense dinner hour. These are a few of the devices I'll use this evening. My presence here is functional rather than philosophical, poetic. Spare us that. Uh, well, of course, I may elaborate here and there. It's already started, huh? I can't understand people talking in the theater. They must think they're at home watching television. <laughs> Neither can I. I was just being supportive. This is a theatrical performance. It's not a public lecture preceded by a discussion. But I'm taking a formal lecture. <laughs> So, let's get 
end up with my instant solipsism. Oh, what the hell did you say? <laughs> That's a convention that you'll have to accept for the rest of the evening. Thank <laughs> you. 